channel. Hello. Doing another video today, and I thought today I would go through my top ten. Oh my hair! Top ten little essentials. These are just my personal top ten. It doesn't mean you have to have these, but these are the basic things, mostly cheap basic things that I use a little space and I use them every day almost and the things that I feel like I need the first one is the most important one a teddy bear if you're a regular on my channel you know this is Pooh he's my favorite teddy I do everything with him and he is my absolute number one little item in the whole wide world if I could only ever have one little thing for the rest of my life it would be poo because he's my best friend and i love him you hear that she loves me <laughs> so he is my number one little essential the rest of them aren't in any particular order it's just going to be what i grab because i've got them all in a pile here next one is a dummy or a pacifier or dodo whatever you call it i use these a lot i often get a block nose so I don't use them as much as I like to but I use them every day for a while every day this is one of my new ones this is my they both fell off but this is my Sophia the first one from tiny moon shop on Instagram it's an adult dummy and I really really love it it's so pretty next on my list is well two things that go together colouring book and crayons these are Crayola glitter crowns that my lovely friend Jack bought me and this was bought for me off my Amazon wish list um it's a Barbie in the pink shoes book well a colouring book um colouring is probably my favourite little activity I don't colour as much anymore because I've not had motivation but when I'm being super little I will colour loads like this is all colouring books that's how much I love it so three and four items are these I would be very upset if I couldn't do any colouring next on my list I really like dolls if you follow my vanilla channel if you follow me on Instagram or something you will know that I collect dolls I have over a hundred which isn't actually that many for a collector like to people who don't collect people are like oh lordy because it's over a hundred but to collectors that's nothing <laughs> but this is my favourite dolly she is an 80s ballerina barbie i can't remember the exact year but she was a present off my mum and you can't really see her colours on camera but she's pink and white and i really love her dolls are very important to me and i love playing with them so they are one of my little essentials um next is this is only one example but sippy cups and bottles i have quite a lot i have three or four sippy cups and I've got three bottles because I use them so much this is my newest one and it's my biggest sippy cup as well this was two pounds in Asda um and I use these ever I normally use bottles I do prefer bottles over sippy cups but if I think a bit bigger or if I'm super thirsty I will use a sippy next on my list is my little journal I will be doing a video on this when I've done more of it but I basically just write, draw and put little things in it. I write photos and stickers and tickets and stuff. And I write memories, I write about my day out, I write little thoughts, things I like, profiles for my friends and teddies, just lots of stuff. And this is something I use quite a lot. I've done quite a bit in it already. Like it's half full already. So that is another one. And following on from that, I have this tin and inside it has lots and lots of stickers I use stickers for two things um, I have a sticker chart well it's more like a virtual one at the moment but I normally have a sticker chart for when I'm good and then if I get all my stickers Daddy gets me a cheap reward not a cheap reward but like a reward in a budget normally like £8 and I also put loads of stickers in my little journal I'll try to find a page some pages I just cover in stickers and then I also put stickers in between different like topics and stuff in my journal like to separate it this isn't my only stickers I do have a big folder full but they're in storage because we've just moved house so I don't have those yet uh, I think I am already down to my last two things Ooh. it's 
inside out. Next on my list, onesies. I really like to wear onesies. These are the ones with the buttons at the crotch. They are so, so comfortable and they're really cute and they make me feel so small. I have five of these. This one's a little chewed one and they're one of my absolute favourite little things. And then finally, we have Blanky. Blanky keeps me safe and is a big comfort to me. It's got Pusheen sat on a sloth's lap all over it. I got this in Primark for, it, it was normally £6. I think I got it for £4 in the Christmas sale. And she's really soft. Um, she's been through the wash a few times, but she's still soft after being washed. And I sleep with Blanky every night. And if I have a sleepover somewhere, I will take Blanky with me. Hmm. Blanky is a big comfort item. My third favourite comfort item. There were a few other things that was going to be in my top ten. Like another teddy called Dorothy. And different dummy. But I thought I'd keep it like one teddy, one dummy, one book and stuff like that. A close follow up was storybooks. But. Actually I will. I'll include storybooks. So the 11th thing, books, because I love it when Daddy reads me stories. I sleep a lot easier after a bedtime story. So that is my top 11 things. Let me know in the comments if you agree on them or if you have things that are different that I didn't list. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.